Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Tomb Raider. Hope you all are doing well, having a great day, and had a great week, and that you have a great weekend. So, before we continue with the shanty town, I am here at the mountain temple just to get some salvage, and we'll take it from there. Now, you can just fast travel to the camp. This is where it drops you, right over here. Now if you remember, when you start, there's this cave and you can't get the salvage in there, but now we've got the fire starter thing and should have probably done this when I did the other one when I went back to the camps, but oh, I forgot about it, sorry. And then also just one more stop because I saw in my video I did all the effort to get that one crate and I forgot to go pick it up. So you just press up on the D-pad and then from side the left and right. So let's go to the village plateau. Okay, so we just here. Yeah. That actually a person. See what I mean? Sometimes there are people here now. Okay, so as you see, sometimes when you come back to these areas, there is people here. Uh, so that was my fault. I like I did all the effort to get that crate down, and then I forgot to grab it. So now we're going to Shanty Town. Okay, so this one's right here where the chopper is, where we had that fight with them. Now, you've got this one over here, and as soon as you're here, right there, you've got this thing where you can aim at them, like a totem or an effigy or something. And you have to first use your fire arrow, and then you can use your arrows. Now, lay to rest. Now, there's a, actually a few of them, so you can get more than you need.
And as you see, there are hogs here that you can, wild pigs that you can run. And they can go through those bushes. You cannot. And then right here at the back there's one of the GPS coordinates. By the way, as you'll see, this is where you came in through, actually. Now I say this place is kind of confusing and there's a lot of places you can explore. if you need any ammo okay so on this roof you can actually find another two right over there is one And there's one right over there. You have to wait for it to burn away and then you can pull it down. I'm not really fast enough to get these boars. Um, shotgun. And there's a relic. In Edo, Japan, traditional men's garments had no pockets. Inro were miniature containers used to hold personal effects, like an ancient form of wallet. Yeah, that's very cool. It looks interesting as well. There's a note. Well, this is a right fucking mess. So much for a quiet retirement. If I find Roth somewhere on this goddamn island, I'm gonna punch him square in the mouth for bringing us here. And then, then the two of us will kill every last one of these crazed sons of bitches. They'll be just like the old days. Minus Dickie Croft. If he was alive, he'd want to study these bastards. Some kind of twisted religious cult. 
He'd find them fascinating. I hope his daughter knows better and finds a good place to hide. These nut jobs are dangerous, and I worry about those kids. Alex, Sam, this place will eat them alive. I like Grim. He's a tenacious old man. I like that. I'll punch him and then we'll kill all these bastards. <laughs> and some crates. One out of three rifle parts. Ooh, nice. That did not go well. <laughs> so there's so much to explore in this place and so many nooks and crannies have to look in. Okay, now as you see the ground there, the flames lit, that apparently disables this trap, if there was a trap. As you see here, I think you can run now. Now as well, before we get there, let's oh, there's another relic. This might be Euron Dynasty. Could it be from Kubla Khan's lost fleet? Oh wait, it's a fake. Made in China. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it that you can see, but as you can see, there is the <laughs> made in China. Poor Laura, all her homes, hopes and dreams dashed. Okay, so as you see, this place is set up as a fight. There is barrels and stuff here. Now, if you really want the XP and stuff, you can. Otherwise, this is the tomb here. And there's a trap right in front of the door, so all you do is you jump over it and you use your fire arrow. And now as you see it just able the trap and now the enemies don't come. So I says if you really want the XP for killing them you can, but it's once again you're gonna hang upside down and have to shoot the barrels and them and if you're really in the mood for that, go for it. Another sacrifice. My God, what's driven them to this? By the way, you can either just shoot the arrow or you can actually pull back and hold it. I don't think it makes a real big difference, but there you go. And then just see, there's a GPS right as you fall down here. Salvage along the way. More salvage. Uh, more salvage. Remember to always look up. There's more. One and I should just stay on fire arrows. <laughs>
And there's my crate. Okay, so the idea of this is, is you grab these canisters and throw them onto the thing there. Now three should actually be enough, three or four. The thing is, is, you can't jump high enough already to grab, and there I'd break another priceless pot relic, so you can't grab it. Just grabbing the fire while I'm at it. This was once a sacred place. Oh, we actually got a message from Lara. But that does not count as one of her things, I think. Yeah, let's grab another one. Pull it up. That needs to be full, I think. Oh, no, he was in that. I was too slow. Yes, got it. Strange. Samari defile these ancient ruins, but also worship him. And there's your prize. Skill point, yes. And now the relic map found will help with that. See what I've already missed. See, just look there. one at the moment. This one actually is very useful to help you. If you're near a relic and stuff and GPS. So I'm going to use this a lot more. It, it will show up on your map actually. Just for interest sake, you can jump and re-grab if you feel that climbs faster for you.
Now I know I'm kind of like annoyed, annoying with this how I want to get headshots and get as much XP from killing the enemies but like I said there, there should be enough XP for you to get all the skills and stuff but I want to get them as quickly as possible I don't want to like just get them and then use them for one or two minutes at the end of the game so I'm trying to get as much salvage that I can use the weapons fully upgraded and the max weapons and stuff and skills as well so that I can show them and use them before the end of the game so there should be enough to get all of it I just want to make sure I get it as quickly as possible I say this if you hold your instincts okay so I'm not near anything at the moment There's a bush. By the way, if you notice, this is right where you came in on the start of this. See there, if you see. So... There's a thing right there. And there we can see the blinking. And as you see, I've run past it now, before, so... Ridiculous. Oh, there's an XP. Uh, don't get too near to that gate. That's where you need to go to. More salvage, and then... There's this document. Right there. <laughs> There are over a hundred of us now. We've started work clearing out the old palace and soon construction will begin on a city around the base of the mountain. The Japanese built a cargo holding system here years ago that we've gotten up and running again. Matthias claims we're building in honor of the Sun Queen, like some ancient Egyptian monument, but it's obvious what's going on here. Matthias is stalling for time. This massive project is just to keep them distracted, even with the rituals and storms and rampant killings. It's only a matter of time before they turn against him. And when they do, I'll be ready to take control. Uh, there's always someone that wants the crown. Oh, something I wanted to show you if you see there with the shotgun right there underneath like showing how many bullets I've got is that like pellet thing what they talk about the different shots so this is your normal shot and if you use R1 then you shoot that. It's supposed to be more longer range and closely more close together or something
There's some more GPS over there. No door is safe from my shotgun. A Ming Dynasty jade figurine. But this one looks genuine. Oh well, this one hopefully is real. Well, Laura shotgun, not mine, but anyways. <laughs> Okay, so just be careful, there might be people here, so... There's cash there at the bottom. that might be all of them for this area. Nope. I was wrong. That might be all of them. So this is just way back to the chopper that we came from. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here's the relic. Inro are usually lacquered wood, but this one's made of brass. Probably dates from the 19th century. Okay, so this one's got something extra again. The inside of this Inro smells like tobacco. Perhaps this was used as an ancient cigarette case. Now, this is just one thing that's kind of like silly for me is that they're talking about the inside, but there's no inside it's solid <laughs> maybe she can smell it but yeah Here's the document. 
Matthias has us look for physically strong men for the Brotherhood, but none too smart. They must be willing to take orders and work. Any who question or resist are immediately killed. And the women? Matthias decides their fate. Most are sacrificed to the Dark Walkers, but some are chosen for the ritual. We put up with this insane ceremony. Some brothers are even starting to believe in it. Something clearly controls the storms around this cursed island, and it will never let us leave. Father Matthias claims to speak to it. Her, this Sun Queen spirit, or whatever it is, I don't know what to believe. I'm just doing what I can do to survive. Ascension in the ranks. Keep an eye out for these effigies along the way. There's another one over there. Oh, not close enough. I says, don't get too close to the gate just yet. And there's the last one. Now we've got late to race. Okay, there's another one that I've missed while I was here. It should be... There is some scrap here. Hmm, I wonder if something went wrong. Oh no, there is what I want. So there's the first one of these silencer uh, achievement. You get these alarms, take them out. I think that might be everything for this area of it. Let's see. Gear. Okay. Power is full. Shotgun. Pistol.
By the way, you can hold like 10,000 or something um, salvage. So if you want, you can, I've tested it on another playthrough, you can not upgrade your weapons until you get to your final weapons. You can keep your salvage until then. Oh no, there's one of these ones. So you can run back, try and survive. Just try and avoid him. Time to die. Ah! I just found that gives a lot of XP, almost the same as a headshot. So it gives more XP than that, actually. Crates are pretty sturdy, they give good protection. I think that's it. 
since there's no more action music. I says if you want you can like explode the barrels. Um, but let's just, I'm trying to maximize my XP at the moment. And remember to loot them so you can get the ammo and the crates. So yeah, like I said, I know I look like a scrambling rat and whatever. And there might be easier ways to do it. But that's why I'm doing it the way I am. Okay, so you get your flaming arrow. And get that thing out of the way. And that is going to be it for this part of Shantytown. So, like I said, I hope you have a great weekend. Do something fun. Have a great time with family and friends. Just be well. So, see you in the next video.